Today we are diving into one of Divi 5's most powerful workflow feature and that is Stacked Preset. If you want faster design iterations, consistent site-wide styling and a modular system that scales across pages and projects, then Stacked Presets will change how you build with Divi 5. And in this video, I'm going to explain what Stacked Presets are, how you can create one and combine them together and share practical benefits that make them essential for teams and solo designers alike. So if all that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB Visual Builder. Now, if you want to deep dive and learn more about stacked presets, then go ahead and check out the blog post link that we are going to leave in the video description below. Once you're done with this video, check out the blog post and I'm sure you will find it really helpful. So what are stacked presets? Now, Stack Presets expand Divi 5's preset system by letting you layer multiple presets on single element or group. Instead of one preset doing everything, you create small focus presets. For example, one preset for background gradient or maybe one preset for just handling alignment and maybe one for spacing and then stacking them all together. And Divi 5 intelligently merges those settings together and applies the resulting combined style to the particular element. The key idea to remember here is that stacked presets are modular and they inherit and merge predictably and they respect your global design variables so a single color change can ripple through every stacked instance. Now how to use stacked presets in Divi 5? Now here are the steps that you need to take to create presets and then stack them together in Divi 5. So for this example, let's say we are inside our Divi 5 visual builder and we start by adding a simple row. Let's say we have two column here and for the first one, we are going to add this blurb module and let's add another blurb module here on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and create a preset which is for this blurb module. Now we have already created few presets here. So let me just choose one. So let's say I have this blurb orange preset. Let's apply this. So this applies this background color. We have this title here uh, with some bigger font size and we have this padding here and we have this rounded corners shadow and all of this is handled by this element preset. Now if you go in design, here you can see in spacing, we have these uh, 10 pixel padding. And if you go to border, we have 10 pixel border radius with one pixel border width and the border color as well. And all of them is getting handled by this preset. Now, if I go ahead and click on this blur module here, I can again go ahead and choose any uh, preset that I have created. Now, let's say for this blurb module, I don't want the image on top. I want the image on the left. So I can go to layout and then click on layer direction as row. Now, if I go ahead and apply my orange blurb module, I can do that to give it a new look. But every time I have to change the alignment to make it look like this. Or instead, I can go back to this blurb module and then I can create a new preset which is only going to change the orientation or the layout of this blurb module. Let's say I use this preset, which is blurb left. So now with this preset, my image is on the left. And now in order to apply my additional orange background blurb preset, I can simply go ahead and click here and then choose my blurb orange preset. So now we can see on the right hand side, we have the blurb left preset which is handling our layout and we also have the blurb orange preset which is handling all the colors padding and spacing so this is how we can create multiple presets and stack them together by using stacked preset feature in db5 now here are some key features of stacked presets number one you can add multiple presets to any supportive elements or group number two DV5 merges style automatically and when conflicts occur, the last applied presets win. Number three, stack presets integrate with design variable for global updates. And number four, they keep your preset library lean, modular and reusable. Now, why stack presets evolve the workflow? 
Now, before DB5, a preset tended to be monolithic, a single bundle of many settings. That worked, but it means creating dozens of one-off presets for single variations. Presets changes this. Build single-purpose preset and combine them like building blocks. The result is faster testing, simple maintenance, and far greater creative freedom. Now, here are some practical benefits of using stacked presets. Number one, efficiency. This helps turn repetitive changes into one-click update. Instead of editing dozens of one-off presets, single building block preset and all stacked instances update automatically. Number two, creative flexibility. Mix and match visual ingredients to explore dozens of variations without creating new presets for each idea. Number three, easier maintenance and consistency. Centralized styles. Now this helps centralized styles. So branding changes or accessibility tweaks apply everywhere. No global CSS hunting and no missing elements. Number four, future-proof scaling. This helps you keep the preset library minimal and intentional. It's easier to audit and faster to apply across multiple client sites. Now, Stack Presets transform DB5 preset system into modular design engine, which is faster builds, consistent branding, and far less maintenance. Try creating a few single-purpose presets today and stack them on module and see how quickly you can iterate. If you're ready to go deeper, then go ahead and check out the blog post that we are going to link in the video description below for various screenshots and step-by-step -step visuals and advanced stacking examples. And if you like this video, then give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.